I know I'm not going to get anything from God because I deserve it. Okay, it's not going to come because I'm so righteous, my motives are so pure, anything else. So when the devil comes to me and tells me about how foul my motives are, I always confess, you're exactly right. You're totally, doesn't it say agree with your accuser? I always agree with the devil when he tells me, I say, you're right, my motives are foul, they're totally wrong. But I am not my righteousness. Jesus is. Now, I'm not going to get this because I'm righteous. I'm getting it because of what he did. So it doesn't matter. And we need to understand every single trial in our life is for one purpose. Promotion. Every single thing we're going through right now is to bring Christ-likeness in our life, to work Christ-likeness into our life so that he can trust us with more authority and more knowledge. We've got to start passing these tests, passing these trials. You know, as one friend of ours, you say, you never fail one of God's tests. You just keep taking them till you pass. But I think it's more than just having the words in the sermons about it. It's a life that lives for the resurrection. Where we really believe in our hearts, not just our minds. How could we, who have met the living God, who have been given salvation, who have eternal life, not be absolutely, outrageously happy all the time. I mean, how is it possible for us to have received the gift of God that we've received and not be a thankful person? Perpetually thankful, regardless of the trials. Every trial that he allows in our life is for our good. Nothing happens. This is all things work together for good. So it doesn't matter how bad the trial is, what you're going through, God's going to turn it for good. Everything, I mean, we have no reason not to be continually thankful.